Hi, this is Mrs. Alexander, and I'm going to show you how to do your virtual gram stain using the website shown above. Again, if you're trying to use Google on your school device and it says that Flash is blocked or it's not allowing you to, go ahead and open the Firefox browser and try it there. You may have to allow a plugin or something like that, but it should work. Okay, again, you have a menu button which will take you through the steps, so you should have already watched the narrated notes and know how to do this process. Remember the step um, for the steps for gram staining after you heat fix the bacteria to the slide. You'll use crystal violet, then you'll rinse, then you'll use iodine, you'll rinse, then you'll use alcohol and rinse, and then safranin, and then rinse. When you're done and you can view your slide under the microscope, you should see definite um, purple versus blue or pink versus blue um, or pink versus whatever colors you kind of see that there. If you see green or brown, then you did something wrong. So let's go ahead and take this, take you through it and try this out. So it automatically starts by flaming your loop for you. That kills anything that would have been on the loop. It goes ahead and dips in and gets some of your bacteria from your tube. It wiggles it around and swishes around and it's a water drop. Now it's your goal after you let the water and the bacteria dry on the slide it automatically will go through five minutes for you real fast your job is not to view the slide that's the last step right there you need to pick up your slide and you need to pass it through the flame so it doesn't let you click on the slide so your first step is to heat fix so use your bunsen burner drag the slide back and forth through the flame like this make sure that the time at the top meets the guidelines. Now that you've heat fixed your slide for about one to two seconds, the first stain we're going to use is crystal violet. So click the crystal violet to apply it. That will automatically time it for you. Crystal violet has a bluish purple tint and it's going to stain everything, gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Then we need to rinse. We're using H2O or water. So we're going to apply water. It's going to rinse all the stain off for us. So now the crystal violet has bound to the gram positive cells and in order to rinse them away from the gram negative cells, we're going to use alcohol to decolorize. It should only decolorize the gram negative cells. So we're going to click alcohol. We're going to drip it on there. We don't wait. Notice there's no timer. Instead, we instantly rinse with water, H2O. So click on your water. Now, if we were to look at it right now, which I don't want to yet, because then we'd have to start all over, you should see just gram-positive purple cells and all the gram-negative should be clear or white because you just decolorize them with alcohol. So let's add our second or counter stain called safranin, and that will color the gram-negative cells a pinkish red. That will also put it in the gram-positive, but you won't see it underneath the dark purple of the crystal violet. Go ahead and rinse when your time is up. So at this point, we should have gram negative cells, which are red, and gram positive cells, which are purple, or you could say pink and blue. It's kind of whatever color you want to view it. You're going to go ahead and view under the microscope to see if we did this correctly. Notice I see purple and pink. There's also some greenish brown in there, which is fine. No big deal. If you don't get a view that looks like this at the end and all you see is all brown and all clear or you don't see pink and blue, then you've done something wrong. Go ahead and take a screenshot of this using your snipping tool and paste it into your assignment. Okay, do that before you click anything else or you're gonna have to restart completely. You can examine examples and it shows you what different ones look like, but once you click that, you can't go back. So make sure you've screenshotted where it says to screenshot. All right, I hope that helps everyone.